Mr. Brown, good to have you with us today. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Mm. Brown, I, I love to tease you. We love your hairstyle, right? But in 2013, <laughs> this wasn't the hairstyle you carried uh, during that tournament. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a different uh, hairstyle, you know. That hairstyle is, uh, is a warrior hairstyle. <laughs> you, know, so, <laughs> you know, when you play against the defender, when you come in with that type of hairstyle, they have to know that you're coming for war. So <laughs> that's, my, that's my trademark. Okay, nice. I like that because, I mean, we've seen a lot of um, interesting hairstyles uh, at the uh, Africa Cup of Nations. And like you rightly said, probably the warrior's hairstyle to chase away uh, <laughs> defenders or attackers from wanting to score you. <laughs> But you were there in 2013. Now, we are here again, but this time around, you're not playing for Nigeria. But how would the players be feeling at the moment, looking ahead of that game? Tense. Tense. You know, like, they, they are worried about, um, about the game, no doubt. You know, uh, they are professional players. You know, they, they should know how to, you know, control, control pressure. Uh, for me, I don't have doubts. In this in tonight's game, you know, with the players we have in camp, I don't think Ivory Coast to be a threat. So we should not be worried about Ivory Coast. We should be talking about our players. We have a bunch of talent in the camp, and uh, in fact, I'm excited. I'm excited. Mm. You know, you, you said the players shouldn't be worried about Ivory Coast. Let me take your mind back to France '98, where Nigeria was going to play against Denmark, and uh, if they had defeated Denmark, they would be playing against. Um, the Samba boys of Brazil. Now, the same way Nigerians are saying that, look, we don't have to worry about Denmark, we'll, be, we'll beat them and we'll move on to play against Brazil. But we know what happened. We lost four goals to one. The Sand <laughs> brothers, they put San San in Algari in that game. Now, shouldn't we um, look at that game critically? Because playing against Ivory Coast, we played, we played them in the group stage and it was quite tough. We won that game a goal to nil. Being host nations, yeah. don't you think they have the higher advantage against uh, Nigeria? The game is 11 against 11. Mm -hmm. You know, the fans, they're not, going to, they're not going to come on the pitch to play. They're only there to support the team. You know, like I said, with the, with the talent, with the bunch of talent we have in camp, I don't think we should be worried about, you know, about, uh, about the game tonight. Uh, for me, I, I, you know, I have this feeling like we, we should just pray for, for the law, for the God of soccer to be on our side today, mm. because uh, I don't see I don't see how they can you know um, they can match our, their defense can match our our attack. We have the best attack in Afcon, though we have not you know we have, we have not been showing it by scoring a lot of goals. But the most important thing is winning games, and we are we are doing that. You know, my friends always say how you how you win game, you only score one goal, one goal. I say, bro, we are in the final. You are home now. So <laughs> why, are you, why are you worried? Why are you worried about how we are winning? You know, mm. we are in the final. So if we have to, you know, beat them one zero to win the trophy, so be it. People don't care about how you play. What they care about is, you know, what was the result? That's what people care about. Mm. True. Now let's talk about you now, your career. After winning that tournament in 2013, how did it affect your career uh, uh, in, the, in the world of football? Uh, it's, it's amazing, you know, it's, it's priceless. I can't uh, mention how grateful I am, you know, winning the AFCON, that opened a lot of doors for me, you know. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful, I'm grateful, you know, representing my country, winning the trophy 2013. Since then, my career has been, you know, amazing. So mm -hmm. I'm grateful for that. Now, you had um, teammates who, you, who played with you, the likes of Ahmed Musa and Kenneth Omero. Now, they are in the finals of the tournament. What are your thoughts on how they performed their leadership quality in the Super Eagles of Nigeria? I'm jealous. <laughs> 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 because these guys are about to win it the second time. Mm. You know, uh, I, spoke to, I spoke to Musa uh, two days ago with my family and my boys. They are very happy seeing uh, uh, Musa and uh, Anekom, you know, um, you know, they are they are wonderful guys. You know, I wish them all the best. And I was telling Musa that <laughs> that oh boy, you will be you you make it through if you win if you and Kenneth, you know, like you you won this, you know, you're gonna win this Afcon again. You know, like I'm I'm jealous that you you and Kenneth win it again. You know, like you know, just joking around. I'm, I'm I'm happy for them. You know, I'm happy for them. Like I said, I can't uh, I can't wait to be a really interesting match to watch. 
And I think uh, today I'm, 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 I'm really relaxed. You know, uh, the, the way the, the, the South Africa game, you know, went, I was really shaky. But today, really, I'm, I'm, I'm not tense. You know, I'm, I'm relaxed about the game. Now, looking ahead of that game now and how the Super Eagles have performed so far in the tournament, who would you pick as your standout performer, your standout player from the team? I would say, should I mention one or two? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Okay, uh, for me, I'll say uh, Lukumon. Lukumon was, you know, his, his talent, the way he has played from the first game uh, till, till the South Africa game. I would say the Ekong is, is one of our strong pillars in the defense. And um, for sure, you can't you can mention Nigeria without mentioning the, the key man. So, Osime. Uh, he has not been scoring like everybody wants him to, you know, uh, to do. But you know, the thing with striking is the thing, you know, being a striker. Is sometimes you don't score, but you know, you make your team win, and he has been doing that. You know, the thing with with uh, football fans is they don't want to, they don't want to know who, mm -hmm. you know, how you play. They just want to see you score. So yes, I know he, he might be worried. You know, uh, as a striker, you want to score goals. Sometimes you you know you, you give a seat, but you know you want to score goals. You want to be scoring, you know, like every game, you know, every game you want to be scoring. But you know it's not happening for him. So I'll mention um, uh, Ekong. I'll mention um, you know Lukman. I'll mention Osimo. These are the three key players, you know, in our team. And as for today, I I really pray that we you know we win the game once we are Osimo with the with the, the only goals. Okay, that, with that, that would be a very wonderful, that would be a very wonderful, you know, thing for him. So we can take that as your prediction. One goal to nail in favor of Nigeria, Victor Simon scoring. Yeah, I'll say I'll say one zero because I don't I don't see a lot of goals in this in this game actually. To be honest with you, I don't see a lot. They they will defend because they know that we have a very strong you know our force is our attack. So I, I don't. I don't think they, 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 they can play without considering consider a goal. I think, uh, you know, it will be, it will not be, there will not be a lot of goals. I think 1-0 for Nigeria to win. All right. Now, if it happens that Nigeria wins this tournament, or even if they lose the tournament, the finals, do you think that the coach, Joseph Pesero, should remain as the head coach of the Super Eagles? Uh, for me, I will not want to, you know, uh, go into that. The reason why is, you know, for a coach to get to the final it shows that, you know, you really, you know, you, you have something that you, you're doing. You understand? You know, we, we all, we didn't really, be, you know, like, uh, believe in this team. I myself, with the way they have played going to this tournament, with all the friendlies and all the World Cup and, you know, qualifiers, I didn't really have that belief in the team, but, you know, uh, starting the AFCON, they did. They have been. They have been wonderful. Yeah, the, a lot of people always say they don't score a lot of goals. I keep on saying football is all about winning games. You understand? If we have to win one zero, one zero, one zero, and win the World Cup, do you think anybody will talk about it? Nobody <laughs> will talk about it. You know. So, for me, I think yeah, we deserve a second chance. If you know, we win the AFCON today, they should, they should you know they should allow him walk uh, and see how how the team goes. All right, we'll see how that turns out for the Super Eagles of Nigeria. And uh, I hope that we'll get to see Warrior Hairstyles today in the finals. Hopefully, we can win that one. <laughs> Thank you very much, Brownie, there, for your time.